All rise because the king and queen are in the house. That's right. They are world record holders. Seven years. We we knew that this was a thing, but it's official. You've got the official documentation from the Guinness Book of World Records. Well, we are, by the way, talking to. a Rick and Susanna Can you read from it out? 7. Read, read it out. Read out what your certificate says. I'll just throw it all over. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Sue doesn't care for it too much, obviously. <laughs> all right, so this is the, this is the world so record certificate. So it says, the longest certificate, Guinness World Records, the longest serving television news anchor duo is Susanna Carr and Rick Arden, both Australia, who presented from 1985 oh. to 2021 for 36 years, 247 days, <laughs> as verified in Perth, Western Australia. You are officially amazing. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but I mean, every day yes, you're now breaking your own world yeah. record. It, it is, yes. Yeah. So we don't know any other Guinness World Record holders, do you? Yeah. Oh, well, no. of course, no. Oh. I mean, we hold certain world records. But they're not Guinness World Records. Yes. Oh, aren't they? Mm, oh, yes. No, no Mine's, they're not. Um, uh, huge, so and I don't know if you'll ever be able to achive it. Yeah. Uh, mine's smug- uh, snuggling in a hammock with bunnies. And I, you beat Cameron Diaz to that, didn't you? Cameron Has she Diaz? been in contact? Yes. She oh, yeah. Oh, she was filthy about it. She was filthy. Because she said on Jimmy Fallon's show or, yes. or yes. Yeah, one of the yes. yeah, Jimmy Fallon, and then like I literally let it stand for a week. She was so proud of it, and then I took it off her. And how many bunnies? Um, 51. Bunny, <laughs> and they weren't. Do they have to be of a certain size? Oh, no. they were. They, they were the some smallest looked to be like, some looked find. like emaciated Ewoks. And, and, and if they Nathan was there sex on any me. longer, there was going to be more bunnies were, almost immediately. 200 <laughs> by the time you'd finished. <laughs> no, right. It was. I was in the middle of a fairy orgy, and it was one of the most tragic <laughs> and traumatic things I've ever been. <laughs> Two were going at it right near my head. And I was like, oh my god! It's the most is... action he's seen in ages. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about Sean's record. Bananas down his pants. I hear. Yes. Plenty of room there, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did wear particularly baggy pants. Yes, that I did. Well, yeah. you buy extra, 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 extra. Well, that's extra right. Right. That's, that's right. right. Are you talking about the bananas or the pants? So. <laughs> And, and what and Natalie can do to the song Beat It. I know. Mine was yeah. putting socks onto your left foot whilst the song Beat It was playing. And it was like I got in excess of 50, I think. So, yeah, yeah, you did, Nat. You so did. So it's so all about the soft choice. Book, we're published. Oh. Oh. So, so they're pretty mainstream Thank records. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. And what surprise... Oh, what did you just do? <laughs> Rick Arden just dissed Hey, at least, no, at least we not. did them in, like, less than 37 years. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Right? good I, I always think, right, so we um, always uh, have people come through from um, the performing arts, you know, like from Whopper and all that sort of stuff, and, and they're the eager new generation that are all excited to do our job. And they always yes. say, I want to do what you do, and we go, yep. well, too bad we're doing it. Yeah. Um, and we've been doing it for 20 Imagine years Imagine the people now. who've died while we're waiting That's for our job. <laughs> Exactly. And you exactly. feel like it's so great and you guys are amazing. We could never think of the news without you. But do you sometimes feel mean for blocking all these people's careers? <laughs> well, it's a very limited I think if you go into being a TV. newsreader, there are only so many openings that there are there anyway. And they yeah. don't get vacated very often. Yes, no. No, that's true. Yeah. And funny, Joe McManus, who used to be yes, the Joe. head of yeah. Whopper, will tell you some come in and she says straight up, if you want to be a newsreader, forget it because you've got to be a journalist first, then a newsreader because she said some come yes. in with stars Oh, yeah, eyes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, because you guys know the stories inside and out. That's the thing about you. you. You're personally attached to the stories. You don't just read them. Oh, gosh, well, no. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we just, we just read them. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, do you know if um, there's other people or both... Um, if, if there's other uh, duos that are hot on your heels, oh, yes, so Gunny, Gunny, that have there? to make you no. continue. No, no, we beat. There was a couple in New York, but yep. she's retired, and they right. went for thirty-two years and it. five months. <laughs> yeah, but unless there's someone in like Tajikistan yes. or. Um, out of Mongolia, or you know, a Borat style on his part. <laughs> yeah, okay. That have, uh, but and or so, nobody that you're aware of. Nobody that we're aware of. Heels. Do you know? It's funny when we first started looking because we got to thirty odd years and we thought, you know, maybe we've got a record in yeah. it. You know, we we had no idea. And I think it was Matt Tin- Tinney did some um, investigating yep. for yeah. us, and then he found this couple in in New York. Chuck Scarborough and Sue Simmons. Isn't Ooh. that the best oh, name? Oh, Chuck, Chuck Scarborough. Scarborough. He should wear a cape. I know. Yes. And Sue Simmons sounds like she's a Spider-Man character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A bit Peter Parker, isn't it? Yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they went to 32 years and five months. And so the moment we got past that, we thought yes. we might go for this. Yeah. 
and it's taken. It's taken for five this morning, years. It's taken longer than applying for MI6. Yeah. <laughs> and more detail. information. All the detail. We've been through, I think, five publicity managers while they've been trying to break the record. But this current one, yeah. Taryn, she's Tenacious great. Tenacious Taryn. Got... I was wondering, does that mean you just hang up the microphone? No. So to speak. No, no. why? Why? Because no. you're world record holders. You've achieved the highest point no, of the no, mountain. No, no, no. And this is, I'm, okay, whatever you want to do is your business. But for me personally, they stop when they die. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and they die mid bulletin. So no, but don't and, and then the other and one you know, reports on it. There's maybe a hologram. <laughs> and then it's a hologram. Exactly. They're doing it at the oh. Academy Awards and that these yeah. days. Um, I, yeah. <laughs> uh, can you tell me about to the first time you guys ever worked with each other? So, what did you know about each other? Was it an audition process that you had to like try out with each other? How was no, it? No, no, no. Rick happened? was reading at seven and I was reading at the ABC. We'd met once at the Clear Speech Awards. Yes. <laughs> and that's a thing. <laughs> What well, a great yes. speech. Does that still happen? Does. <laughs> 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 I speak clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdly, we've never been nominated. Who <laughs> <laughs> got the clearest speaker for that year? <laughs> well, well I, good, I can't remember. You may have got I it that I year. I think I got it that year. year. Oh. <laughs> 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 we would. <laughs> I, couldn't get there. I couldn't get there at any stage. No. <laughs> but you both got your breaks from people being sick or... Yeah, um, that's true. Virtually true. Even yes. though we were in the job. You yeah. know, at some level, yes. it took to get to that main bulletin, to read that main bulletin, it took someone else to have an accident or get sick. So what did you do? Like to push them? down the stairs or I something. Did yeah. not, I did not By make us, Peter yes. Holland fall off his motorbike. <laughs> 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 Susan, the bushes were the best. <laughs> but she knows who did. <laughs> That's right. And Rick, what was yours? Who, who oh, was sick for you? Uh, jump well, the it was the former newsreader, Peter Walton. In fact, oh, I had I just auditioned him. to do the weekend news. And they yes. said, I'd just started. I was 19. They said, you'll be on air in a couple of weeks and I thought bloody hell yeah. live TV I wasn't yeah. used to it because yeah. I'd come as a print journal from the west and then a couple of days later he fell ill and they said you're on tonight so there I was 19 year, years 19. old absolutely packing my dax yeah. and uh, my dad took a photo and I looked about 15 I think yeah that's great. That's did. amazing. Yeah. So, did you, they didn't even t- send you out for like a little lunch to a little. No, I get to I know straight you. Away. She'd yeah. be great. She's been great all the time. Aww. Aww. Oh, Jeff yeah. Newman. It was Jeff Newman's idea. He kept saying, "You should come and work for us. You should come and work for us." And then they asked me to because they went from a single reader. They wanted her to go for a double header reader. Yes. Yeah. And so they asked. So you me got to, poached. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And it was good. Smashing the ratings still. Really it's good, yeah. Been, and look, we're enjoying it's been it. Very lucky. We've got a wonderful it's news good. team. We've got a wonderful station. I mean, Channel Seven's always. Oh come on, Rick! It's all about station. you. Let's no, face it. No, no, <laughs> no, no. It's teamwork. We've got we a great team. We actually have the most amazing team at the moment. Yeah, I can't great. tell you the young ones really just talented. blow you away. Yeah, they're, they're so yeah. clever, yeah. Yeah. and they just go out on, on and they're so prepared. You yeah. know, they and they put so much into it. Too bad their f- careers aren't going to go any further. All the best. Keep going. What do you mean, Sean? Oh, yeah, the intense 50. <laughs> just waiting for an opportunity. <laughs> doing, doing actually, actually, I have to tell you, our makeup artist bumped into Natalia Cooper's yeah. husband yes. a little while ago, Carl, yeah. lovely guy. And Carl said, You know, about 10 years ago when Sean Menegola was your news director, yep. he said Natalia would be Sue's successor. He said, Good thing we didn't stick around. Right? <laughs> 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 Natalia gave up the left. <laughs> she did, and she came she's oh, back. She's back. She's back. She's back. Yeah, yeah, great things anyway, but oh, hey, Rick, so I, I want to do just a bit of a check on you. Um, sure. Last time I saw you, it was down south, and oh. you hurt yourself. And I made mention of that on, yes. when we came back that we you um, sick, that you had to get out of the water. You dislocated your shot. Everyone was I telling did, me I had it, three bears. Yeah, great wave, and just one of those things. So the wave took my board, you know, on a bodyboard, flicked it out, and uh, yeah. Shoulder went straight out, but luckily for me, there was a chiropractor surf from the car park and he yeah. popped, popped it back in, so all was good. So, do you, do you, is it a regular thing that you pop no, your shoulder I've never, out? Never oh, that is that right? I've never done that before. Far right. out. So, Rick, you say if you like pop your shoulder out and then you got swept out to sea, would you report on your story of how you're on the sea? <laughs> Only oh, if you got would. eaten by a shark. Do a live. Do a live. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, Matt, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.